He was hooked on tablets before turning two. Ethan and his enthusiasm for fire trucks. An extreme example of the global trend. These two are on their way to Germany. We use it now for everything. We take it with us. You know, it's, it's great for doing our, actually our banking. It's toy and tool showing up in offices everywhere. I think almost everybody has a, has a tablet on their desk. Yet, less than two years ago, few people had even heard of a tablet-style device. These U.S. statistics show how sales suddenly took off. Now almost one out of every five people has at least one. I don't think anybody saw this coming because truth of the matter is the industry had been throwing different tablet designs at the wall for 15 years only to have all of them land with a, a thud. Please squeeze the blar pins. And now tablets are taking over from other devices. While these two watch a show, their TV is off. They're losing it that badly? Yep. While these two use a pair of tablets to play a game, they aren't using half a dozen other things. I almost never use my laptop anymore. And it replaces a video game console, television, um, computer, both desktop and laptop, uh, recipe book, mm -hmm. paper book, <laughs> uh, like a, and magazines. In Canada, tablet sales tripled last year and are expected to surge again this year. In the battle for consumers' tech dollars, tablets are taking charge. Netbook sales, some predict, will drop. Gaming devices may lose out, and tablets, for many people, eliminate the need for a second TV. Tablets are having a bit of a cannibalistic effect on other kinds of devices. <laughs> devices and habits. Research shows a growing number of people choosing to get their news online and not on a traditional computer, but on a more portable tablet. Those sirens Ethan likes so much? A signal of the huge shift going on in the way people read, work, and play. Haber Gould, CBC News, Toronto.